So, so happy to be here, as always. It is such a blast. My name is Angela Petrilli, here with my friends at Fishman doing a brand new episode of The Riff Rundown. Today, we're going to be learning I Can't Explain by The Who. I've been getting a ton of requests asking when I'm going to be teaching The Who, and today is the day, my friends. So, we're going to have our electric guitars and standard tuning for this one. This one definitely geared towards my beginners, all right, but my intermediates and my my pros out there who are watching i want you to do me a big favor let's put some words of encouragement to all the beginners who are watching today all right let's send them a lot of love i would really really appreciate that so let's do that today so again electric guitar and standard tuning all bar chords today folks but it's going to be a lot of fun this is a classic from 1965 great great tune so before we get started you know i always like to ask a question so let me know where you are tuning in from and your favorite song from the 1960s all right so where you're tuning in from and your favorite song from the 1960s and just to let you know today's episode is pre-recorded but don't worry we're gonna have a lot of fun today all right so here we go here's i can't explain by the who So that's the tune today. It's a really, really fun one. As you can see, lots of bar chords here, but don't worry, I'm going to talk you through them. All right, really, really fun one again. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and look at the top. This is the intro. I'm going to play through it a little bit slower than I just did there a moment ago. So I'm going to play through here. Three chords that are happening here in this intro. We have an E major, a D major, and an A major. These are all going to be bar chords. But as we can notice here in a moment, pretty close to each other. So I'll go ahead and play through this progression a little bit and then we'll talk about it. All right, so what's happening here? We have an E major, D major, A major, and then back to our E or our one, okay? So we're in the key of E today. So what we're gonna do here with this E major bar chord, all right, and it's really important that we play a bar chord here. The open chords, they sound okay, but we really, really want to play it here, all right? So in the, in the Pete Townsend fashion, that's what we're going to do today. So we're going to get our first finger here, we're going to place that across, okay, the seventh fret of the A string, D string, G string, B string, and that high E string, all right? And then what we're going to do here is we're going to get this third finger, all right? We're going to place that, okay, we're going to play three strings at once with this one finger, all right? So here's how we're going to do it. We're going to get our third finger across the ninth fret of that D string, the ninth fret of the G string, and the ninth fret of the B string. Let's go ahead and talk about, again, our target notes that we're looking for here in this chord. It's an E major, so we're looking for a one, three, five, okay? It's the formula to build a major chord, and we're looking to see, well, what is the one, three, five of E major? It's going to be E is our one, G sharp is our three, okay? And B is our five. So with this E major bar chord here, let's see if we can check all of those off the list. So our first finger, that's on the seventh fret of the A string, that's our E note, that's our root, it's our one, right? We've got it, so there it is. Now we're gonna get our third finger here, we're looking at the ninth fret of that D string, that's our B note, that's our five, all right? And the ninth fret of the G string, that's our E, it's another one. And then right here, we have the ninth fret of the B string, that's our G sharp, okay, that's our third, all right? And then once we have here, okay, our first finger is also playing that seventh fret of the high E. Okay, that's our B note, so that's another five. So what we're gonna do here, in terms of playing this chord, okay, we're just gonna strike it one time. And as you, I'm sure you can tell from the, the demo I did a moment ago, I'm keeping my amp very, very clean, all right? I barely have any reverb on here, notice? See what I mean? Nice and clean and sharp and to the point. So uh, those of you curious, I'm playing through a Princeton Reverb uh, 65 reissue here with an Alnico speaker. Nice and sharp. So just one downstroke and that's it. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna mute. So with this side of your hand here, we're gonna strike the chord downward and lightly, okay, put 
that part of your hand there, just deaden those strings. So let's go ahead and do that, okay? It's easier said than done, all right? So it's gonna be a little bit of practice here. Make sure this sounds nice and clear, the chord itself, and then again when we muffle it. All right, so here we go. Just like that, let's do that a little slower. And just lightly down on those strings, let's do that again. Okay, so just like that. So our next chord here is gonna be D major. So what we're gonna do here, we have our E chord. All we're gonna do is we're gonna shift it back two frets, meaning that your first finger, okay, is gonna be across the fifth fret of the A string through the high E string. Third finger is gonna be across the seventh fret of the D string, G string, and the B string now. Again, you know I like to throw theory in these lessons too, all right? What are our target notes, right? Our, 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 our target center notes that make up this chord, all right? It's gonna be D, F sharp, and A, our one, three, five, all right? This is when we let's build a major chord. So we have D here, the fifth fret of that A string. We have right here our A note, seventh fret of that D string, that's our five, so our one and our five, check them off the list. Okay, we have another D here on the seventh fret of that G string, and then right here on the seventh fret of that B string, all right, that's an F sharp, so that's our third, all right, and again, that first finger all the way down here on the fifth fret, that high E, all right, it's gonna be another A. So, with this D chord here, we're gonna strike it twice, two downward strokes like this. Now notice here, when I am playing this, I know a lot of times I tell you guys, right, I like to strum from my elbow. In this case, since we are playing very tight, very close little, you know, just strikes with, with these chords, I'm using a lot more of my wrist here when I'm playing. Notice how my elbow is kind of staying still, right? So nice, light, downward strokes, just two of them. And again, with that muting, that part of the hand. All right, so let's go ahead and do that again from E, one downward stroke, to our D chord, two. Let's do that again. And make sure to get that nice, bright note that's on that B string, all right? Really, really wanna capture that. I know it's a tough note to get, but again, with that thumb, right, when we're playing these bar chords, push through, not too hard, but again, that's really the foundation, right, and the lead, that works along with that first finger. So make sure that thumb isn't up here. I don't wanna see it up here. Keep it, those of you who have a strat, right? Keep it alongside that skunk stripe, all right? So here we go again. Just like that, one more time. And one more time for good luck, why not? Just like that, all right? So our next chord is gonna be an A major. So here's what re is really, really cool about this. We have our D major here. Now what we're gonna do, so we're just gonna move this first finger up, covering all six strings at the fifth fret, okay? So the tip of your first finger, right, should be on the fifth fret of that low E string, all right? Now from here, we're gonna go ahead, release that third finger that's playing those three strings. We're gonna give it a little bit of a break, all right? Second finger is gonna be on the sixth fret of that G string. We're gonna get our third finger here, placing that on the seventh fret of the A string, fourth finger, seventh fret, the D string. Now, again, throwing in some theory here. What are the notes that we are playing? We have our A, we have our C sharp, and we have our E, all right? So those are the three building blocks to make an A major chord, all right? So in terms of the notes that we are playing here, A, E, a, C sharp, A, and then there's, there's E, and then A. So there you go. So here, we're gonna get one downward stroke, and then mute. All right, so let's combine those three chords. Here we go. Pretty cool, right? Let's do that again. And then back to our E chord. Give me two strokes on that one. Just like that. Let's go ahead and do this whole thing. Here we go. Slow it down a little. And now with a little speed.
Now see how this sounds just totally great and so, so the who, right? If we were to play these chords here as open chords, notice how it doesn't have that really beautiful twang and like trebly sound. And I'm gonna play the same chords here, E, D, and A. Notice the difference. <laughs> You could still do that, but man, these just cut and they sound so, so great and so iconic of that like 60s sound. Power of power chords, my friends. It's very, very cool. Again, those of you who are enjoying these lessons, be sure to subscribe to the channel. It does indeed help the cause, folks. It helps the cause. Share these videos with a friend and also to shout out to the folks at Fishman. Loving, loving. I always talk about them, you know, the Fishman Fluence single with pickups, they're killer. So if you guys wanna learn more about these, put a link in the video description so you can check that out. So those three chords there, E, D, A, and E, you're gonna be repeating those through that intro and through the verse. However, they're very, very sneaky, and I love this little thing that they do in the verses. They throw in a B chord, and it only happens one time, and it is just so, so cool. I'll show you what it sounds like. You can hear it at the I believe it's the 22 or 23 second mark um, on the tune. And also, super fun fact, this song is two minutes long. Like, it's such an impactful song, and it's just in a really short amount of time. I think it's just absolutely killer, so kind of cool. So here we go. I'm going to play through this, E, D, A, E. Then I'm going to throw in replacing the A chord with a B chord. All right, so we hear that. So I'll go ahead and play through it. comes that B. It happens one time, the 23 second mark, so you can go ahead and give that a listen. So how do we play this B chord? Well, think about it this way. We have our A major here, right? That's located fifth fret of that E string. That's where that root is, and we're rooted on the E string. Check it out. This shape could bring up a whole step, right? A and B are a whole step apart. So now that we have this B chord, is how we play it. You're gonna get that first finger here, bringing it up to the seventh fret, across the seventh fret of the low E through the high E. All right, you're gonna get your second finger here, placing that on the eighth fret of that G string, your third finger, ninth fret of that E string, okay? Your fourth finger here, ninth fret of the D string. Now, what are the target notes here? B, D sharp, and F sharp, all right? Those are the three notes that make that B major chord see them here. So all we're going to do, okay, so we're going to play through this. We're going to do E, D, B to E. We're going to strum it the same exact way. All we're doing is replacing that A chord. So it's going to sound like this. Play through it nice and slowly here. Again. One more time. time for good luck. Why not? We're having fun. Okay, so that's what's happening there. Again, happens one time, very quick. And after that, we go back to our E, D, A, E. We're going to do that a few times. Again, this is very repetitive. I encourage you to listen back to the song and you'll see how it's these chords over and over again. It's great. So, to lead us into the chorus, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to an E, one stroke D, one stroke, to B major, one stroke, let it ring. Just like that, all right? So, pretty simple there, E, D, B, and then into our chorus. So, let's go through the intro, the verse, I'll let you know when we replace, okay, when we throw in that B chord. And then we're going to go ahead and do that lead in with the E, D, B. All right, nice and slowly here. Here we go. One more time in our intro. Into our verse. Now 
Now substitute here your A chord for your B chord. Or your B chord, the A chord for the B chord. You know what I mean. We're live. Back to E, D, A, E. One more time. Now, leading in to our chorus, E, D, B. Cool stuff, right? Great, great song. All right, let's do that again without the commentary. Here we go. stuff right so I encourage you guys listen to the original too it's so so great so so fun so with our chorus here the chords are gonna look like this I'll play through them all right so and then we go back to our E D A E but let's go ahead and look at those chords first so we can get as simple or as complex as we want with these chords. All right, let's go ahead and talk about them. So we have our E major. This time we're gonna go ahead and play it right in the open position. So we're gonna do here first finger, first fret, that G string. That's our G sharp, so that's our third, okay? We're gonna get our second finger here, second fret of the A string, that is our B note. That's our five, and then check it out here. It's third finger, second fret of the D string. That's our E. So that's our one, three, and five. We found them. Now we're gonna do here. Go ahead and strum everything. Now, something kind of cool here. Could you keep it very simple and just do whole notes here? For this progression, you could. Or we can kind of do something very neat here just strike some of those strings right towards the, some of those higher strings like that the E string and B string again you can make this as full or as simple as you'd like okay so just like that now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go to our six chord this is gonna be the C sharp minor here's how we play it you're gonna get your first finger here across the fourth fret okay of the A string through the high E string, the tip of your first finger should be on the fourth fret of that A string, which is our C sharp, okay, that's our root. We're gonna get our third finger here, placing that on the sixth fret of that D string here. All right, that's our G sharp. Okay, that's our five. We're gonna go ahead here now. Fourth finger placing that on the sixth fret of the G string. That's another C sharp, that's our one. Now, the second finger here is gonna be playing our flat three. All right, it's gonna be that E note. Okay, fifth fret of that B string, and then your first finger is also playing with that bar, the fourth fret of the E string. That's our G sharp, it's another five. All right, so just like that, folks, pretty cool. And again, strumming here, just a nice down up, all right? Have fun with it, keep it simple, all right? So here we go from the E to the C sharp minor. And I know this is quite a jump for my beginners, going from an open string to a bar chord. That's towards, you know, getting towards the middle of the neck. But don't worry here. Take your time with this. Like I always say in these lessons, we can't play anything fast. We can't play slow. So if you need to slow this down so you can get really good, awesome technique, take your time with this, all right? You'll thank yourself later. Future self will say thank you, all right? So here we go, nice and slowly here. Let's just focus on that E to C sharp minor, all right? So here we go. Okay, hitting that high E and low B, why not? Here we go. One more time. Now for me, what makes this a little bit easier when I'm switching from an open chord to a bar chord, I like to establish the bar first 
and then go into the little baby cord that lives within the, <laughs> that lives within the bar. I like to do that. I don't like to do this and then wrap and do the bar cord. For me, that's a little uncomfortable. Um, so I like to establish that bar first. So I will leave that up to you. I know that's what I like to do. So I just, I wanted to mention that. Okay, to our six chord. And now we're gonna go to our four chord, which is gonna be an A major. So check it out, we're at the fourth fret. Now we go to A major. See how it's right next door on that fifth fret. Really, really cool. Again, as a refresher, let me show you how we build that. You're going to get that first finger across the low E, all six strings, low E to high E. All right. You're going to get your second finger here, placing that on the sixth fret of that G string. Third finger reaches up seventh fret of the A string. That's our E note. You're going to get your fourth finger here on the A note, seventh fret of that D string again, A, C sharp, and E are one, three, five. And striking those high strings, all right? And then now here, up to our B major to complete this progression. Bring that whole shape of A major up to the seventh fret. Okay, first finger should be rooted on the seventh fret of that high E string, all right? Our B, D sharp, and F sharp. through that whole progression. We're going to take our time here. Here we go. Oh my God, that. There we go. Nice and clear. Don't be on top of your frets like I just was, right? We're building those bar chords. Get as close to the frets as you can without touching it, because as you heard a moment ago, when you do, get that sound that we don't want, all right? So nice and clear versus that we don't want, all right? So let's go ahead and go through this whole piece here, intro verse, our little leading into the chorus and then our chorus. All right, let's take our time here. Again, hope you're having fun. And as always, if you're enjoying these lessons, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you want to check out all the cool stuff Fishman is up to, including these killer fluence single width strat style pickups. They're awesome. Link is in the video description, folks. Also, I want to mention I'm releasing my very first single on March 10th with my band, Angela Petrilli and the Players. We are so excited. The single is called The Voices. Uh, it's, we're, we're, we're so proud of it. And those of you who are into like bluesy jam bands, you're really gonna like this tune. It's a, it's a fun one, we're really proud of it. So really excited to have all of you listen to it. So be sure to uh, check that out on March 10th on all streaming platforms everywhere, folks. It's gonna be fun. So let's go ahead here, intro, verse, and chorus of I Can't Explain. Here we go. Let's take our time here. Let's have some fun, here we go. Again. Now with our B chord. One more time. Into our chorus. Fun, right now again remember I'm keeping this a little simple could we get a little bigger on that chorus absolutely if you want to strum it through a little more absolutely do it all I'm doing there is a down down up up down up 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 if you want to keep it really full like that, you absolutely could. If you want to keep it on the simpler side, totally up to you. If you just want to do whole notes, you can do that too. Again, a really, really fun song. Gotta love a one, six, four, five progression, folks. It's good stuff. So after we do that, we go back to our E, D, A, E progression sounding like this. And 
we're going to repeat and repeat and repeat this. It is so, so great. Again, I encourage you, listen to the original too. It is so, so fun. So once we do that, we're going through that a bunch. That E, D, A, E. And then, of course, we go back to our single. Nice big chords here. E, D, B. back into our chorus. All right, so let's go ahead. Now do that. See how this song, right? It's so condensed. Everything is so important and really builds such a beautiful song. These guys know what they were doing when they were writing songs. That is such, uh, such an iconic tune. It's great. So let's go ahead and do that from the top. Power chords or bar chords. Here we go. Make sure to get those mutes nice and clean with that right hand. to our B chord. One more time. To our chorus. Back to our riff. Repeat, repeat. To chorus two. Back to our E, D, A, E. doing here instead of doing that 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 those two hits on the E major chord what we're gonna do is we're just gonna let it ring all right so that would sound like this I'll play it through a little slower again we're not changing the chord progression we're just letting that E ring at the very very end I think it's at like two minutes and two seconds uh, when the song ends so here we go Also, too, if you happen, and sometimes it happens, I am guilty of it, too. If you're playing an E chord like this and you happen to hit the low E, it's not the end of the world. Why? Because, hey, it is an E. So if you happen to catch it, don't think, oh, my gosh, I didn't hit, I, I, I didn't just hit that, that E that's on the seventh fret of the A string. No big deal. If you happen to get it every once in a while, adds a little more bassiness to your chord. So don't, don't, don't fret. Don't fret too much. Dad joke, how to throw it in. Okay, so let's see. Here we go. With the outro, nice and slow here. Let's include a few bars being played regularly with the two hits of the E major, and then we'll go ahead and end it with the single whole note, right? Ring of that E major. So here we go. our ending. Very, very cool. Again, a super, super fun song. Absolutely geared towards my beginners. Beginners, I hope you had a lot of fun today because I sure had a ton of fun teaching this. As always, wishing you all so, so much success in your musical journey. I really love seeing all the kind comments uh, during the chat, everyone is so, so welcoming and, and, and it's, it's just, it's a really cool thing to see. So thank you all for being so kind to one another in the chats. As always, it is such a blast. I uh, hope you guys have a lot of fun with this one and folks have a